Hi there, welcome to Logic Terrain. This is Lakshmi Narayana, your math facilitator. Again, I'm back. In this session, we are going to learn about how to find sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression for the given terms. This is one of the very, very important concepts of uh, arithmetic progression. And for the same, we are going to discuss one of the very, very important questions from Adi Sharma of class 10. So by the end of this session, I'll make sure you'll be expertised in finding some of n terms of an arithmetic progression. Before moving into the session, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. So let's move into the question. Here is our question. This is R.D. Sharma exercise 5.6 question number 1. The question is find the sum of the following arithmetic progressions. So here we are given different arithmetic sequences. You can see different uh, difficulty level as well, right? That is what I assured you. So you will be expertised in finding some of n terms of an arithmetic progression for any given sequence or any difficulty level, right? Here we have different arithmetic sequences or you can say different arithmetic progressions. So we have to find some of different terms as well, right? So let's solve one by one. So here is our first one. This is our first one. So in this arithmetic progression, the sequence is 50, 46, 42 and so on to 10 terms. So in this given arithmetic progression, we have to add up to 10 terms means first 10 terms. We have to find some of first 10 terms, right? So I hope uh, you are familiar with sum of n terms formula. If you are not, so once again, we will discuss that is sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression s n is equals to n upon 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d or for the same you can also use this one n upon 2 into a plus l here l is last term so that same you can also say a n a n is equals to l so both are same actually from this only this is derived when you have last term, when you have last term or else you can say nth term, you can use directly this formula, right? It's a kind of shortcut, right? So how it is derived, let us have a look here. So n upon 2 into 2a, we can uh, rewrite as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. And we know nth term formula a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. So this is uh, nth term formula you can say general term of n a p so you can see here what is this part nothing but a n so what is a n that is last term of the sequence you can say that is l so this is same as n upon 2 into a plus a n or n upon 2 into a plus l right so you can use any one of them so here in this case, uh, we don't have last term, that is nth term, so we will use the first one only. In the given sequence, what is A? A is first term, right? Here, here A is equals to 50, first term, and D is equals to the difference between any two consecutive terms, okay? You can find difference between any two consecutive terms, that is either A2 minus A1 or A3 minus A2 or and so on right here this is nothing but 46 minus 50 is equals to negative 4 here we have d as well and what is this we have to find sum of first 10 terms in this sequence so here n is what n is 10 so we have all values now a d and n so we can substitute and we'll get sum of n terms right so let's substitute and we'll find some here so therefore sum of 10 terms s10 is equals to 10 upon 2 into 2a 2 into 50 plus n minus 1 10 minus 1 into d negative 4 and this is equals to so here 2 divides 10 5 times so 5 into 250 is are 100 10 minus 1 9 9 times of negative 4 that is 36 so this is equals to 5 into 100 minus 36 64 and 5 fours are 22 5 6 are 30 32 so 320 therefore sum of 
10 terms of this given arithmetic progression is 320 right clear so let's move into the next one here is our next sequence the sequence 1 3 5 7 and so on to 12 terms so in this arithmetic progression we have to sum up first 12 terms up to 12 terms so clearly you can see this is a and d is what this minus this that is 2 and this is n a d n we have now sum of n terms s what is that 12 is equals to n upon 2 12 upon 2 into 2a 2, 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 12 minus 1 into d 2 is equals to here 2 divides 12 6 times 6 into 2 ones are 2 12 minus 1 11 11 twos are 22 so this is equals to 6 into 24 which is nothing but so 144 so therefore sum of uh, first 12 terms of this given arithmetic progression is 144 right so let's move into the next sequence here is our next sequence right so little uh, more difficulty level right so you can see which involves fractions as well so again here this is a and d is 9 upon 2 minus 3 either this minus this and this is n so here 2 3s are 6 9 minus 6 3 upon 2 so what is d 3 upon 2 we have a we have d we have n now sum of what 25 terms s 25 is equals to 25 upon 2 into 2a 2, 2 into 3 plus 25 minus 1 into d 3 upon 2 this is equals to 25 upon 2 into 2 3s are 6 plus 25 minus 1 24 into 3 upon 2 here 2 divides 24 12 times this is equals to 25 upon 2 into 12 threes are 36 36 plus 6 42 now again here 2 divides 42 21 25 times of 21 this is equals to 525 right so the sum of uh, 25 terms first 25 terms of this uh, given uh, arithmetic progression is 525 now let's move into the next one here is our next one again this is a and d is 36 minus 41 that is negative 5 and this is n right now again by using sum of n terms formula s 12 is equals to 12 upon 2 into 2a 2 into 41 plus 12 minus 1 into d negative 5 this is equals to 2 divides 12 6 times 2 into 41 2 times of 41 82 12 minus 1 11 11 to negative 5 negative 55 so 6 into 82 minus 55 12 minus 5 7 here we have 2 27 so 6 into 27 6 7 are 42 4 6 2 are 12 plus 4 162 so therefore in this arithmetic progression sum up to 12 terms is 162 right now let's move into the next sequence here is our next arithmetic progression a plus b comma a, a minus b comma a minus 3b and so on to 22 terms so in this arithmetic progression we have to sum up up to 22 terms right so you can see difficulty level slowly increasing so here uh, which involved variables right so how to find sum of uh, n terms that is n is 22 here let's look at so here again this is a a plus b and common difference d is equals to the difference between any two consecutive terms that is a minus b minus a minus b right when you subtract signs will change here you can see plus a minus a gets cancelled here we are left with negative 2b negative 2b negative 2b negative 2b and anyhow this is n now we will find sum of 22 terms right so therefore s22 is equals to n upon 2 22 upon 2 into 2a 2 into a plus b 
plus n minus 1 22 minus 1 into d negative 2 b this is equals to here 2 divided 22 11 times so 11 into 2 into a 2a plus 2 into b 2b 22 minus 1 21 21 times of negative 2b that is negative 42b this is equals to 11 into 2a here we have plus 2b here we have minus 42b so together we will get minus 40b so when you multiply these two we will get 11 into 2 so we can leave it like this otherwise we can multiply these two further so 11 twos are 22a minus 11 fours are 44 and 0 b so 22a minus 440 b therefore sum of uh, first 22 terms of this uh, sequence is this right so let's jump into the next one here is our next arithmetic progression x minus y whole square second one x square plus y square and third term x plus y whole square and so on to n terms see slowly slowly difficulty level increasing a bit right so how to find sum of n terms of this given arithmetic sequence right so again this is a what is that x minus y is equals to 2 and d that is difference between any two consecutive terms that is x square plus y square how it looks like x minus y whole square right so i'm expanding this x square plus y square minus 2xy so we are subtracting so signs will change minus x square minus y square plus 2xy here you can see plus x square minus x square plus y square minus y square it's cancelled here we are left with 2xy this is d and here anyhow n is n only now we will find sum of what n terms so therefore sn is equals to n upon 2 into 2a 2 into a so just now we expanded this what x square plus y square minus 2xy plus n minus 1 into d d is 2xy this is equals to n upon 2 into 2x square plus 2y square minus 4xy plus n into 2xy 2nxy minus 2xy so further uh, this we can rewrite n upon 2 into 2x square plus 2y square minus 4xy minus 2xy together minus 6xy plus 2nxy now further uh, throughout we can take uh, two common here n upon 2 into 2 into x square plus y square minus 3xy plus nxy here 2 2 gets cancelled then this is equals to n into x square plus y square minus 3xy plus nxy so this is sum of n terms of this given arithmetic progression right next one so here is our arithmetic progression that is x minus y upon x plus y comma 3x minus 2y upon x plus y and the next term 5x minus 3y upon x plus y and so on to n terms so we have to add up to n terms of this arithmetic progression right see that's a more difficulty level right so because which involved variables as well as fractions you have to do more complex calculations so let's do it so here this is a and d is 3x minus 2y upon x plus y minus x minus y upon x plus y so here we will take uh, x plus y lcm so in the numerator we are 3x minus 2y minus x plus y here x plus y x plus y divides one time one into the numerator remains same again x plus y divides x plus y divides one time so this into numerator remains same so subtracting so signs will change 
So this is equals to 3x minus x, 2x minus 2y plus y minus y upon x plus y. So this is d. And what is n? n is n only. Now finding sum of n terms of this uh, sequence Sn is equals to n upon 2 into 2a. a is x minus y upon x plus y plus n minus 1 into d is 2x minus y upon x plus y. Now further n upon 2 into 2 into x 2x minus 2 into y 2y upon x plus y plus n to 2x 2nx minus n into y ny minus 1 into 2x 2x minus into minus plus y upon divided by x plus y. So further what we will do is to sum of these two fractions or else you can say through these two expressions. So we will take LCM that is x plus y. So x plus y divides x plus y one time 1 into 2x minus 2y is 2x minus 2y only plus again x plus y x plus y divides one time 1 into this one same 2nx minus ny minus 2x plus y and this is equals to here you can see plus 2x minus 2x gets cancelled so this is equals to n upon 2 into 2nx minus 2y plus y minus y here minus ny that is it the numerator plus x plus y. So this is sum of n terms of this given arithmetic progression right. Now finally we reach to the final example so let us move to the last sequence. Here it is the one negative 26, negative 24, negative 22 and so on to 36 terms. So we have to sum up up to 36 terms of this given arithmetic progression. So again here this is A and D is what negative 24, negative of negative 26 that is plus 26. So D is 2 and N is 36. Now sum of 36 terms of this arithmetic progression s 36 is equals to 36 upon 2 18 into 2 a 2 into negative 26 negative 52 plus n minus 1 that is 36 minus 1 35 into 2. So this is equals to 18 into negative 52 plus 35 into 2 70. So 18 70 minus uh, 52 again 18. 18 times of 18 that is nothing but 18 square which is 324. So clear? So this is sum of uh, 36 terms of this sequence. I hope you are clear with this concept and how to find sum of n terms for different arithmetic progressions. Right? Okay. So see you in the next session. Till then signing off and uh, keep learning, be safe and have a great day.